All right, welcome back to the Bright Side. Good morning. Special welcome to our listeners who attended our free health seminars in Minneapolis this past Monday and Tuesday, who braved the, the Arctic cold in Minnesota and are tuning in for the first time. If you were inspired by our bright side message of the simplicity of good health, the utter ease of reversing, or maybe better, better stated, allowing the body to reverse through its own nature or the divine force, allowing the body to reverse any and all symptoms of degenerative disease. If you've been inspired by our message, welcome to the bright side. If you're tuning in for the first time, welcome to the bright side. The bright side philosophy, the bright side message is this. Health is simple. Health is easy. Health is not medical. Health is not medical. There is nothing the medical model can do to to improve our health, but it doesn't matter because health is easy. Health is about plumbing. It doesn't have to be considered medical and it doesn't have to be considered scientific and you don't need to have an eight-year degree to figure out how to take care of the body. Health should not and is not complicated. Disease is nothing more than the breakdown of the body. It's the breakdown in a generic sense. And when I say generic, I mean it always occurs in the same way. This is so important, you guys. The body breaks down generically. It breaks down in the same way. Even though it may occur, this, the breakdown may occur in different places. It may occur in the liver. It may occur in the lungs, the joints, the brain, the skin. But the breakdown always involves the building blocks, the bricks, the 3D printing machines called cells. No matter what our health challenge is, at the end of the day, if you backtrack, If you work backwards in troubleshooting fashion, you'll find that no matter what your health challenge is, it's a cell dysfunction. All disease is cell disease. This is so important if we're truly interested in reversal, if we're truly interested in getting better. We're told by our doctors and by the medical model that there's 12,800 different diseases. We're told there's 1,000 different dermatological diseases, 1,000 different ways the skin can be sick. The bright side philosophy is that There's not 12,800 different diseases. There are 12,800 diagnoses, and a diagnosis is not a disease. A diagnosis is a description. There's 12,800 different descriptions of how the body breaks down, but there's only one way that the body breaks down. There's only one degenerative disease. There's only one breakdown disease. I call it M. BFA disease. My body is falling apart disease. That's the only disease there is. There are not 12,800 different diseases when it comes to getting ourselves healthy. There may be 12,800 different descriptions, but you can't heal a description. The description, the definition, the diagnosis is nothing more than a a doctor's version of a a play-by-play announcer doing a baseball game or a football game. A diagnosis is what appears to be happening. It's a play-by-play. Amyotropic lateral sclerosis is just a description. It's a, it means your muscles are not being fed and the blood vessels, the blood vessels that uh, are becoming dysfunctional. The blood vessels that feed the muscles are becoming dysfunctional. That doesn't help you. That doesn't help you get better. Hydrodentitis, superativa, your sweat glands are breaking down and the defense system is alerted and the system is protecting itself by inflaming. Who cares? It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, the bottom line is the cells are sick, and they're only sick for one reason. They're toxic, or for three reasons. They're toxic, they're starved, and they're suffocated. That's it. It doesn't matter the name of our disease. What matters is the cells in the body are toxic, they're suffocated, and they're starved. Period. Fibromyalgia, muscle pain. Myasthenia gravis, serious muscle weakness, multiple sclerosis, your uh, uh, nerve cells are becoming hard in different places. Whether it's the muscles or the nerves or the brain or the skin, it doesn't matter. Unless, uh, the only reason it matters is to be billed and to be drugged. That's all. The only reason it matters is so the doctor doesn't have to think. All he has to do is go to the book and look, uh, uh, look at the protocol for dealing with acne or multiple sclerosis or fibromyalgia. Read up on how to, uh, what prescription drugs you use for what prescription disease or what surgical procedure you use or do for what particular issue you have. They're not, the diagnosis are not there to help us get better. The diagnosis are there so it's, the doctor can figure out what to do and bill us for it. So the insurance company can have a code number to bill us on. And there's nothing wrong with descriptions and diagnosis. It's all well and good to describe what's happening in our body. The problem is, is we become proud of our illness. We like to use the fancy descriptions. I have such and such disease. My doctor told me I have vasovagal syncop- uh, syncope. Or I have mitral valve prolapse. Or I have abdominal cystic lymphophangioma. 
or I have acral uh, dysatosis dyserythropoiesis or shinzel gliden midface retraction syndrome or paroxyl dystonic chorioatherosclerosis. That's all great. That's all wonderful and impressive, but for healing and regeneration to take place, for us to feel better, for us to access our natural and inherent and God-given divine regenerative abilities that are built into the bodies, the description doesn't matter. It's irrelevant. The descriptions are for billing, not for our health. The descriptions are so a number can be assigned to us and a computer can read and store and process our information. A diagnosis is there, or diagnosis is there for the doctor. It's there for Kaiser Permanente, for Blue Cross and Blue Shield. It's not there for us. It's there for the billing. But we get attached to our diagnosis. It's like the way we get attached to a sports team. The medical model encourages this. That's why we have races and picnics and pink baseball bats and foundations and associations so we can be a member of the club. The American Heart Association, the American Diabetes Association, and the Scleroderma Foundation, and the Alzheimer's Association, and the National uh, American Heart Association, and uh, National Osteoporosis Foundation. They're like clubs. You know, sports teams are also called clubs. Clubs give us a sense of identity and a sense of a belonging. And once you're in a club, once you belong to a club, belong to a club, the club owns us. Once we belong to a club, the club owns us. That's why so many people are reluctant to do what it takes to reverse whatever's happening in the body. We identify with our club. We identify with our sports team. We identify with our diagnosis. We identify with our membership in the disease club. But the good news is, is that if we're willing, if we're truly willing to drop identification, we can be free. And that's what the Bright Side philosophy is about. We drop our identification with our diagnosis and the name of our disease. We drop our identification with our specific identity, the specific diagnosis, and we go behind into what our diagnosis has in common. All right, so we're talking about the generic nature of the breakdown process, the generic nature of degenerative disease. We get identified to our specific diagnosis, but from the perspective of healing, from the perspective of regeneration, it doesn't matter. And this is something I noticed from seeing, from seeing sick people, from seeing disease states, from seeing people who are uh, dealing with degenerative diseases for the last 25 or 30 years, from seeing hundreds, if not thousands, of different degenerative diseases. What I notice is they all have something in common. Yes, they have specific flavors or specific textures or a specific kind of personal, uh, uh, per personal aspects that are unique. But behind all of these personal aspects, you have one thing in common, the breakdown of the body, the breakdown of cells, toxification, starvation, suffocation. I call all diseases, all degenerative diseases, MBFA disease, my body is falling apart disease. That's it. There's only one disease. Yes, they show, it may show up in 12,800 different ways, but if we're interested in healing, we're interested in regenerate, regenerating the body or allowing the body to regenerate itself, we don't need to know the specifics of whether it's happening in the eyes or the skin or the bones or the muscles or where it's happening because at the end of the day, it's a cellular issue. It has to do with the building blocks. It has to do with the cells. It has to do with inflammation or with starvation, suffocation, toxification, and ultimately inflammation. No matter what our health condition is, don't focus on the diagnosis. Don't focus on the symptoms, but focus on the body. The body is a generic system. Whether it's my body or your body or mom's body or dad's body or grandma's body or grandpa's body, it's the same body. A body has a heart and a liver and a lung and a uh, stomach and an intestine. It has the same systems. It has the same parts. Why would it be that our diseases would be unique when our bodies aren't? Why would it be that our diseases would be unique when our cells aren't? Everybody has the same liver cells and stomach cells and bone cells and muscle cells and nerve cells. And if all diseases sell disease and everybody has the same cells, then we all have the same disease, MFBA disease. What this means is that if we want to reverse it, it's done the same way. No matter what kind of diagnosis or description we have, it's all done the same way. This is so simple. It's simple for, for us who are dealing with degenerative crisis or if we want to help somebody who's dealing with degenerative crisis. No matter what we got, no matter what we're, our diagnosis is, start off with the gut. Start off with the microbiome, the, the world of bacteria, the universe of bacteria that live in the digestive system, no matter what. 
No matter what your health challenge is, start with the digestive system and start with the core of the digestive system, which is the microbiome, the, the universe of bacteria, probiotics, must have nutritional supplement. Use the BioLumin Nightly Essence, 100,000 IU, I'm sorry, 100, 100 billion units, 100 billion units, multiple strains of bacteria. BioLumin Nightly Essence, three capsules in the morning, three capsules at night. No matter what you have, eliminate problem foods. No matter what your diagnosis is, eliminate problem foods. Eat fewer foods. Patch up the gut. Use the Fucoidin Z. Use glutamine powder. Use bone soup. Make your own bone soup. We've talked about that so many times in this program. Use aloe. Use noni. All of these have an ability to coat the digestive tract and accelerate the healing of the cells of the digestive lining. Use veggie juices. Make sure you're stabilizing the blood sugar by eating less sugar, using more protein, less refined carbohydrates, less fruit juices, anything that jacks up the blood sugar we should stay away from if we're dealing with a degenerative crisis. Something as simple as that can go a long way towards helping the body heal itself. Do we need a doctor for that? Do we really need the medical model to stabilize our blood sugar? You guys who have diabetes, there's one-third of Americans, a 100 million Americans have messed up blood sugar or as they call it, dis glycemia. One out of three Americans. Do we need a doctor to stabilize our blood sugar? No. What you do is you reduce your calories, reduce your intake of, uh, of blood sugar spiking foods, use water after you eat a bready or starchy or sweet food or sweet meal. Use water first thing in the morning to dilute blood sugar. Is this a doctor issue? Is this a medical issue? No. Now, make no mistake about it. Your doctor will, will tell you it's a medical issue because he's got a mortgage payment to pay. The, mortgage, the, the medical model will tell you it's a medical issue because they got bills to pay, but it's not, and they can't help. But we can do it ourselves. Use coconut oil to stabilize the blood sugar. Use micronutrients, the ultimate selenium, B-complex, beyond tangy tangerine, vitamin C, magnesium. These are all wonderful ways, wonderful nutritional strategies that we can use to stabilize our blood sugar. No doctor required. Use the sweeties, chromium and vanadium, after all starchy or sugary meals. No doctor required. Make sure we're oxygenating, deep breathing. Practicing regular, slow, deep breathing is one of the most powerful ways to activate the body's built-in healing process. Do we need a doctor to practice slow, deep breathing? No. Activate the relaxation nervous system. Use all the relaxation strategies we, we talk about in this program. Hot showers, hot tubs, baths, immersion therapy. Massage, lymphatic massage, and make sure we're getting the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients. That's foundational. No matter what we're dealing with, even if we're healthy, make sure, we're making sure we're, uh, we're using the Mighty 90 Essential Nutrients is not optional. You guys, this is the good news. This is the bright side. No doctors required. No Obamacare required. No insurance required. And the really cool thing is when we begin to make these kind of changes, the body responds and it responds quickly. In some cases, it responds instantly within minutes, but in a noticeable way for everybody within a day or two, certainly within a week or a month, no matter what your health crisis is, you can be a new person. This is the great gift of the human body. This is the bright side. This is the good news, the bright side philosophy. The sicker we are, the faster we can turn it around. The more weight we need to lose, the faster the pounds come off. The more deficient we are, the faster our body utilizes nutrients. The key element here, you guys, the key element is willingness. And then there's just a few more tactical moves. Willingness, we have to want it. We have to be willing to disidentify, to drop our identification with our diagnosis, with our disease, take the ball into our own court, and utilize a few tactical moves that we can do ourselves. The body can turn on a dime if we turn on a dime. All right. So we're talking about chemicals that make things happen in the body. We've been spending the last couple of weeks on these chemicals that make things happen in the body in a basic fundamental way. Molecules that make things happen in the body. Remember, everything that happens in the body happens because of a cell. Cells are the bottom line. Cells are the building blocks. We say all disease is cell disease. All health is cell health. Everything that happens in the body happens because of a cell. The chemicals that make things happen in the body, we call those hormones. Hormones work by activating a cell. A cell is nothing more than a 3D printing machine, a living 3D printing machine. 
Talked about the Fudini a couple of weeks ago. The Fudini is a 3D printing machine that makes hamburgers. You can buy it on the internet, the Fudini. I remember talking about 3D printing machines maybe five or six years ago. I, I read about them and I was amazed by this idea. You can actually print widgets, you can print screws, you can print forks. Today you can buy a 3D printing machine at Office Max on the internet. Every time I watch a YouTube video, I see a commercial for a 3D printing machine called the Cube. All right, I'm Pharmacist Ben. Got more to say, and we'll take your phone calls when we come back on the bright side. 877-300-7645 is our number. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. All right, let's see. Got lots to say. I think we'll hold off on this um, on this notion of 3D printing machines and hormones and signaling molecules. Because I want to talk. Well, we started talking last week about these these gaseous, these mist vapor steam like hormones or communication molecules, one of which is a famous one called nitric oxide, which we're starting to hear a lot about. I get a lot of internets from folks talking about how you can increase your nitric oxide level and nutrients you could use to increase nitric oxide. Why do you want to increase nit- nitric oxide? Well, we'll talk about that here in the next few days. Prostaglandins, we'll talk a little bit about that. We'll talk about kind of really interesting misting molecule or steaming molecule or, or vapor hormone, if you will, gaseous hormone, if you will. It doesn't smell so good. It smells kind of yucky, actually. But when you smell this stuff, it actually opens up your blood vessels and accelerates the healing processes and relaxes the body. It smells yucky, but it actually has some really interesting effects. We'll talk about that here in the next few days as we continue talking hormones and cellular health and the simplicity and ease of reversing all degenerative health crises, the simplicity and ease of dealing with degenerative disease. I'm Pharmacist Ben, 877-300-7645 is our call-in number on the bright side. If you've got health questions, nutrition questions, questions about prescription drugs, if you want to get off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we can help you do that. 877-300-7645 is our number. Welcome to the bright side. Chris in Iowa. What's going on, buddy? Good morning. I, uh, I just wanted to, uh, you know, add to what you were saying about everybody wants to always, uh, you know, look at the symptoms and then try to, you know, cover up the symptoms. You know, like if your roof is leaking and you put a bucket of water under the leak. Right. You're taking care of your roof. That takes yeah. care of the roof. Yeah. That's right. what the model calls fix. You know, that's fix. right. And that's that's exactly right. About that leak, but they want you to pay them every time they come in and put another for the bucket right they're paying you for the bucket what's worse is not not only is the bucket not helping the bucket usually makes you feel worse ultimately and then they give you another bucket to take care of the first bucket they give you drugs to to take care of the side effects go ahead i'm sorry and then and then you know uh not too long after it you find out that not all the water was going into the bucket most of the water had been soaking into everything every other part of your house and now your entire Roof right. Ruined. Well, that's right. you know that's what everybody does. They put it off, put it off, put it off. Well, more like the doctors tell you to put it off, put it off, put it off until the problem is so bad that you end up having to have an organ removed because it's so full of cancer. Because you, know, you haven't done anything to solve the problem. You only used a bucket. You never never patched your roof. And yeah, patching and the roof, hard. it's not that hard to patch the roof. That's the tragedy. The whole thing. It's not that yeah, hard to and, patch and the it roof. All falls, it all falls back on everybody's. You know, everybody wants to be a Toys R Us kid. They don't want to actually grow up and, and, you know, do something other than have their own victim identity, you know, where they run around and everybody wants to, you know, want everybody to feel sorry for them because they're a victim. When really, you know, they just had their head in the sand while all this other stuff happens, and now they want everybody to feel sorry for them because they were lazy. And, and, you know, now that everybody's done this for the last 20 or 30 years, they've taught all their children that that's how life works. And then now that everybody's going to rush into the medical system thinking that they're ha- they have all the answers, that's why everybody's got, you know, the kind of diseases that everybody got when they were 50 or 60, now when they're like 20, you know. So are you a healthcare professional by any chance, or are you just a, no, a keen I'm, I'm observer? A, I'm a diagnostic technician, but every okay. time I, I hear people talk backwards about how you locate a problem prove that that's the source of the problem and then remove the problem and then you can say hey i actually fixed something you know i work in a i, I work like an automotive industry where if you don't fix something uh-huh. it comes back and you have to keep working on it without pay because you've already been paid to do something that you didn't do until you actually do it or you get fired for being un- incapable of doing your job unlike doctors who just get to practice you that's know, interesting so you life. you're 
You're a car doctor, basically, right? Yeah, basically. Well, I'm not a doctor. I'm a repairman. Doctor, you, doctor things. Ah, uh -huh, good. I like that. You actually fix them. You don't just doctor. Yeah, or or uh, you don't do that job. Or you, you know, you build uh, something. It actually has to last more than a couple of days. Got it. You know. Yeah, doctoring is interesting. If you doctor the car, that means you're using bubble gum and, and, and bailing wire to, to hang the bumpers up or to keep the windows from falling down. That's what doctoring Dr. is. Your paperwork on anything that's government, they'll right. arrest you for fraud. Isn't that interesting? If you doctor the paperwork, that's not a good thing, is it? But if you doctor the body, somehow we think that's a great thing. Yeah, doctoring means to commit a fraud. Right? When you doctor your documents or you doctor your tax returns or, or you doctor the evidence, what's up? That's not a good thing. But yet we accept having our bodies doctored and our, our symptomology doctored. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate your call, buddy. God bless, yep. man. Have a good day. All right. Uh, let's move on to uh, Doug in Canada. What's going on, brother? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hi. How are you? Good. Good morning, man. Yeah, good morning to you, too. I've been listening to you for a couple of years now. Say, uh, you were talking about acne uh, quite a yeah. bit. Here. Yes. And, uh, I'm almost 60. And you don't have it. You don't have acne. No way. You can't. <laughs> I've had it all my life, but, but mostly... Uh, below the corners of my mouth, even on my lip line. Yes. It's always mystified me why in those areas. Let's Sometimes clear up the mystery. Let's clear it up right now. Side of my nose, but mostly yes. below the corners of my mouth. And All right, I'm going to clear that up for you. The mouth acne, they call that peri orbital acne. That means around the orbital means the opening or the hole, if you will. Periorbital means around the opening, the, around the mouth. And by the way, I've got some videos up on. Uh, on Facebook, on my uh, The Truth With Ben Facebook page, and we're doing acne videos now, myself and Amanda Rideout. Uh, if you want to get the acne video, send an email to ben at ksco.com, and I'll put you on the mailing list. Acne around the mouth needs to be regarded as a digestive health issue. Uh, I call it digestive acne, and it specifically involves, uh, or, or usually involves, uh, something called H. pylori, which is a bacteria that lives in the gut under conditions of low stomach acid. And surprisingly to many, many folks, uh, we, m low stomach acid is much more of a problem, especially as we get older, but really it can happen to anybody. Now, low stomach acid deficiencies in stomach acid are much more common than too much stomach acid. So if you have periorbital acne, zits or breakouts around the side of your mouth, you want to consider that you're not processing food correctly and you got deficiencies in stomach acid. So the first thing you want to do is you want to start acidifying the stomach, lowering the pH of the digestive juices, and there's lots of ways to do that. Apple cider vinegar is one of the best ways to do it. Uh, there's some probiotic or some uh, fermented products from uh, Beyond Organics that you can get off my website, brightsideben.com, called the Terrain Products, which are fermented herbs uh, from the Jordan Rubin line of products, and those can acidify the digestive contents, the digestive juices. And then also uh, the, the uh, ultimate enzymes contain something called betaine HCL, B-E-T-A-I-N-E, betaine HCL, and that can have an acidification, uh, an ability to acidify, that can help you acidify the digestive juices, and all of those can help with periorbital acne or acne around the mouth. Now, the, the breakouts along the side of your nose are a little bit different. Uh, hang on, Doug. We'll finish up when we come back from our break. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. If you're on hold, hang tight. We'll get to you when we come back. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Back on The Bright Side, 877-300-7645 is our call-in number today and every day on The Bright Side. We're talking to Doug in Canada about periorbital acne. Douglas, uh, let's see. Do you have any other skin conditions, eczema, rosacea, or anything like that? N nothing like that. Um, no, what other? Healthy. I'm always constipated, though. If it wasn't for okay. digestive yeah. enzymes and probiotics. Okay. And a quick and you're coffee still, in the morning. You're still, you're still breaking out around the mouth, though, around, around the mouth area and lip yeah, area? Yeah, it's food-related, because sometimes I'll, I, like, I eat fairly healthy, but sometimes I'll eat maybe a little too much chocolate or... I would, I would say it's more digestion-related than food-related. See if you could focus on uh, foods that trigger or cause that constipation. That's number one uh, if you want to eliminate foods. But I'm thinking it's got more to do with uh, digestive issue, uh, how you're processing foods, and that would be stomach acid, number one. You might also want to try good bacteria or probiotics. Are you on a good probiotic supplement, Pro, uh, the bioluminite? Yeah. Are you doing one? 
How much yeah, are you doing? Day, but maybe I could double up on them. Double up, absolutely. You can take a lot of probiotics. 100,000, 100 billion units a day is a good place to be. I like the Bioluminightly Essence. Use your digestive enzymes, apple cider vinegar, as we talked about earlier. As far as the acne that goes along the side of the nose or the breakouts on the side of the nose, you have a lot of oil glands on the side of the nose. If you're breaking out in that area, that typically means you're producing lots of oil. Why do we produce lots of oil? And by the way, skin oil, as most of you guys know probably, is called sebum, S-E-B-U-M. Excess sebum secretions are one of the ways the body manifests a stress response, an emergency response. The body will secrete oils or the skin will secrete oils as a protective mechanism. So what you want to look at is what is the body trying to protect itself from? The fact that you're constipated tells me that it's probably trying to protect itself against some kind of food. So you may want to focus on the food issue and that will also help with the stress response leading to the skin oils. A couple other ideas for you. I love pantothenic acid for skin oils, vitamin B5, vitamin B5, uh, pantothenic acid. I've been using it topically, I've been formulating with it topically for skin oils, but you can also use it internally. Pantothenic acid, vitamin B5 is involved in how the body makes fats, makes oils, if you will, Uh, skin cells, sebocytes specifically, sebum making cells, oil making cells that live in the skin, utilize vitamin B5 under conditions of deficiency, under uh, conditions of low vitamin B5, you may have issues with sticky sebum. So using maybe a gram or two, or even up to three or four grams of vitamin B5 a day, that might be helpful. And then last but most certainly not least, it's not always oil, but sometimes it's sticky, thick, sludgy oil uh, that's causing the problem. Sticky, sludgy skin oil. And the way you thin those skin oils out is by using uh, essential fatty acids, omega-6 essential fatty acids. A lot of folks will tell you, you get too many omega-6s and watch out for your omega-6s. Even nutritionists will sometimes say you get too many omega-6 oils. I don't think we get too many omega-6 oils. I don't think we get too much of anything when it comes to nutrition. So if you got sticky sebum, if you got, if you're breaking out because you have lots of oil in the skin, in addition to reducing the stress response by eliminating problem foods and also deep breathing and reducing sugar intake, sugar can be a major stressor on the body and that can exacerbate skin oils. Uh, using pantothenic acid, in addition to all of that, making sure you're on your ultimate essential fatty acids, making sure you're getting enough omega-6 fats, anywhere from six to nine capsules a day. Heck, you can take 18 capsules a day on the ultimate essential fatty acids. Focus on that constipation issue. Once you resolve the constipation issue by eliminating problem foods and using uh, using apple cider vinegar and other acidification strategies, you may notice that your constipation improves and you may notice that your periorbital acne improves as well. Your acne breakouts around the mouth. You may also notice that your, uh, your the oily skin Uh, The skin, uh, the the pimples that are on the side of the nose, secondary to the oily skin, that improves as well. So focus on the stress response. Use the nutritional supplements that we just talked about, and make sure you're acidifying the stomach and and uh, straightening out that all that uh, your digestive health issues too. Does that help you, Douglas? Yeah, it sure does. Thank you. Thank you. God bless, man. And then I forgot to tell you, check out my videos, uh, uh, the seven chapters, the seven types of acne, I call them, uh, and those are going to be up on my Facebook page, The Truth with Ben. Dot com. That's a little hard to find, The Truth With Ben. Thanks for your call, Doug. Uh, that's a little hard to find, The Truth With Ben. That's my Truth Facebook page. Some of you guys have tried to fer- have friended me on my regular Facebook page, my fer- personal Facebook page. I've got, I don't know, 4,000 or so friends on that page. But I don't really do too, many, too much posting on that page. But if you go to The Truth With Ben uh, or search for The Truth With Ben, I've got all kinds of good skincare videos and health videos on that page. And that's what I'm doing all my all my skin and healthcare stuff. And also keep your uh, keep listening to this program and also to GCN. I'll be advertising and telling you about my new skincare line that's coming out here hopefully in the next week or two. Um, we're going to start, I got my labels last week and we're starting to manufacture the product and we'll be running commercials and telling you, letting you know how you can get some of those products as well. So keep tuning in for that. Okay, 877-300-7645 is our number. Let's go to Mike in California. What's going on? Welcome to the Bright Side, Mike. Hi there. Um Thank you for taking my call. I've been trying to get a hold of you. Uh, my grandma had a stroke two years ago, okay. and she's done nothing but deteriorate because of all the garbage chemicals that the doctors give her. Tragic. I, I, two things. Uh, the reason, two reasons, I'm calling. One, can you tell me what we need to do to get her yes. off of that? And yes. it, it's her her heart. Uh, what do you call it? If she doesn't take them, yes, her high blood pressure goes crazy, almost to 200 over some. And, but besides that, if you could tell me how we can... Absolutely, know. absolutely, I'll tell you. First of all, how old is your grandmother? Uh, 73. 
And uh, you probably don't know, but if you do, what, what kind of medication is she on? Do you know that by any chance? Um, doesn't no, doesn't necessarily matter. There's, okay. there's just so many. Okay, probably so many. And, and here's the thing. If we're dealing, if we say that all degenerative disease is the manifestation of a body in distress, what do you think prescription drugs do? Do they calm the body down? No, they make it more, they put more stress on the body. They create more distress on the body. They create more work for a body that's already overloaded to have to purify and detoxify. This is the stupidity of pharmaceutical medicine, of the pharmaceutical model. And I'm telling you, this is a registered pharmacist who's been studying these things for 30 years. Why would you put more burden on a body that's already burdened? Why would you overload a body with more work to do when it's already overworked? So here's what you need to do, my friend. We got to figure out what's going on in the system that's creating this burden. And at this point, there's probably a lot. Work on the digestive system, number one. Get her on the bioluminically essence. And you guys, and I'm not just talking to uh, uh, to uh, uh, Mike in California. I'm talking to everybody out there. Please do not underestimate the unbelievable significance of the microbiome of good bacteria in the gut for everything, including heart disease, including strokes and hypertension and, and, and heart attacks. All of these, have, all of these uh, are secondary or can be secondary, can follow a messed up gut bacteria, oh, a universe of gut bacteria, microbiome as they say. Bioluminitely essence, must have. Three capsules in the morning, three capsules at night. If you can get your grandma to start focusing on the digestive aspect, that's super helpful. My, my experience is, is that older folks don't really want to focus on their digestive issues. If she does, that would be great. If you can eliminate problem foods. If you can't, at least get her on the bone soup to help soothe and calm and heal the digestive tract. Making bone soup for any older folks, you guys. If you're in a nursing home or you got a, a, an elderly grandparent or an elderly parent who's breaking down, who's, who's not thinking as clearly as they might or getting sick a lot or has a degenerative or autoimmune crisis or even cancer, use bone soup. Make a, you take a chicken carcass. These we got Thanksgiving coming up here. You'll, most of us will have a turkey carcass we can work with, or you can get a whole chicken at uh, 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 Whole Foods, a rotisserie chicken. Drop it in a pot of boiling water. Turn it into soup. Throw veggies in at the end. Spices and apple cider vinegar will help. And uh, have your grandmother sipping on bone soup as a beverage. Sipping on bone soup like a cider or like a tea, and using bone soup as a source of nutrition and, and as a meal as well. And that can be very very helpful for building up the connective tissue, which includes the connective tissue in the, in the uh, circulatory system, in the blood vessels, to help strengthen and prevent a further stroke or, f or further heart disease. As far as the hypertension goes, that's way high. He said uh, if, if her, uh, she's experiencing super high uh, bl uh, blood pressure, what she wants to do is figure out how to relax that, and one of the best ways is to slow, deep breathe. Sitting on the couch and practice slow, deep breathing. It's so easy. It's free. Anybody can do it. You don't need a drug, and it's one of the most powerful ways to relax the body. A slow, deep breathing, focusing on the exhale, paying close attention to the exhale, as well as, of course, uh, oxygenation on the inhale. Making sure she's using the B-complex, very important for all cardiovascular, all, all heart health issues, all blood vessel issues, and all brain health issues. And remember, the B-complex, because it's water-soluble, is excreted out of the body on a regular basis. If they're not replaced, if those B vitamins are not replaced, there's absolutely no way we cannot be deficient. If you're not replacing the B vitamins after you go to the bathroom, if you're not replacing the B vitamins first thing in the morning, if you're not replacing your B vitamins uh, after, after you eat meals, you are deficient. The B vitamins run the heart. They're the electrical energy for the heart. There's no way you can't have a heart problem if you're deficient in the Bs. How do you get your Bs? Get on the Beyond Tangy Tangerine, a wonderful source of all the B complex. It's tasty, it's easy to use, and it's darn inexpensive, around 50 bucks a month. All right, I hope we helped you, Mike. Thanks so much for your call. God bless. And uh, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Farm Spent. Thanks for listening. We'll be back at you tomorrow with some more good health information. You've been listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Have a wonderful, spectacular day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.